Hello everyone, and welcome back to the channel. We've got the runaway with us, so it's time for another camping adventure. We are currently at the Julian Price Campground on the Blue Ridge Parkway, and over the next few days we'll be driving around 250 miles of the parkway we have yet to visit. Come along with us, we hope you enjoy the video. Price Lake, a beautiful place in all seasons, but especially during the fall. There's a nice picnic area here, boat rentals, and a campground. As you could tell from the last video there, as soon as we started cooking our dinner, a good little thunderstorm came through, so we've just been hanging out in the camper and playing games and planning out our trip for the next couple of days or trying to get a little idea of where we're wanting to stop at. So if you don't know, the Blue Ridge Parkway in total is around 469 miles, uh, beginning at mile marker zero at the southern edge of Shenandoah National Park. You can also drive another 105 miles of Skyline Drive in Shenandoah National Park. Plus, at the other end of the parkway is the Great Smoky Mountains National Park. And there's another 34 miles or so of road you can drive through that park. We've driven the section from here at Julian Price south all the way to Great Smoky Mountains National Park and through the park. And we've also driven all of Skyline Drive plus mile marker zero through around 50 of the Blue Ridge Parkway with our niece last year. So we just need to finish off this last little section and we'll have seen it all. That'll be it for the evening and we'll see you in the morning. Good morning everyone. We're getting some coffee and some breakfast going. Looks like it's going to be a beautiful day. We're fixing to get everything ready and get on the road here in a minute. Alright, before we uh, leave, just wanting to show you the map of the Julian Price Campground. We stayed here in Loop E, Site 4, central to the bathroom. The bathrooms don't appear to have showers, so I don't think any of them do. And as far as I can tell, none of the sites have any hookups. Maybe some of the handicap sites might have some electrical hookups for uh, any medical devices you might have. Uh, but it's a really nice little campground. It was only $20 a night, and we donated an extra $10 uh, to help for restoration of the campground because it does need some repairs. But we were still glad to stay here anyway. Had a great night, great night's sleep, and we're ready to get out on the parkway. It's a 
beautiful morning here at Price Lake. We had a wonderful time in this area. Definitely recommend it. But it is time to head on up the parkway. Now we are at the Moses H. Cone Memorial Park. This was the Cone family's 14,000 square foot mansion. Checking it out. We've seen this before, but it was being restored last time we were here. And there's a craft center here as well, but we're not sure if it'll be open before we leave. Pretty cool. This is their spring house. All right, so right there is Mount Rogers. That's the highest point in Virginia. That's also near the Grayson Highland State Park. It's a very beautiful place. We're actually going to be going back there to do a hike in the fall, hopefully.
we made it here to the Mabry Mill, probably one of the most popular spots along Blue Ridge Parkway. Let's go check it out. We just passed the 100 mile marker on the Blue Ridge Parkway, which means we only have about 50 miles left to complete the section we haven't seen yet. But we're only about 15 miles from the Peaks of Otter Lodge and Campground, which is where we're gonna be staying at tonight. And we'll check the rest of the parkway off tomorrow. of Otter Lodge and Restaurant. We're probably going to grab a bite to eat at the restaurant and then we'll head back to the campsite and uh, we'll show you what it looks like when we get back. That is Sharp Top Mountain. If uh, we have time tomorrow we might go hike up to the top of that. It's supposed to be a good view from up there. This is our campsite for the evening. Pretty small, but it'll do. We went ahead and got it for two nights, so we're just gonna leave the camper here. Site T, Tim. Nice little picnic table and lantern post down there too. Well, that was certainly a wonderful day and a great way to end it, having dinner at the Peaks of Otter Lodge there. A little overpriced, but the food was pretty good and definitely a good view of Abbott Lake and Sharp Top in the distance. Definitely try it if you're ever here in the area. That's going to be pretty much it for the night. We hope you enjoyed all the video from today, and we'll see you in the morning. Got a few hikes planned, hopefully, and finish off the other... 30 miles or so of the parkway and see what else we can get into. We'll see you in the morning. Good morning everybody. We got a great night's sleep here at the Peaks of Otter campground. We're getting some coffee in us and gonna go take on the day. We'll bring you along with us. This is the map for the Peaks of Otter Campground. We are staying here in 
site 10, loop T, which is for uh, trailers and RVs. The sites are all very small, so I'm not sure what size would actually fit here, but even our little runaway and car about fills up the whole site. The sites with the circles are reservable sites around the number. Uh, the sites with the number not circled are non-reservable and are first come first serve. That's what we did. Uh, loop B is tents only and then loop A is uh, tents and camper vans it says and the uh, camp hosts are in there as well. Uh, the restrooms right here in loop T are currently closed and being rebuilt. There is a dump station there and uh, hose bibs throughout the campground for water fill. The bathrooms are old and in need of renovation, but uh, definitely work. No showers though, just like uh, Julian Price as well. We are on our way to the Johnson Farm. We parked at the Peaks of Otter Lodge, uh, walked to the right of the lodge on the lake loop, and then it goes under the parkway. Then from there, it's 0.7 to the farm. So let's go check it out. The house is closed where you can't get in it right now, but uh, got a few pictures through the windows. Looks pretty cool if you can ever get here when it's all open and the living history interpreters are here. There's a apple barn, a spring house, looks like a blacksmith area, a barn, and then the main house itself, and a garden. So, a lot to check out. Back at the car, time to head down the parkway, knock out these other 30 miles, maybe catch a few more hikes. We'll see. Let's go check out this Falling Water Cascades. Church cat lilies, these are one of my favorite flowers along the parkway and in the mountains. There'll be multiple blooms off of this plant before they're done blooming. They bloom in late July into August. For the Falling Water Cascades Trail, they say it's 2,000 feet, which may be accurate, but what they don't tell you is it's about six or 700 feet down at least, stairs and rocks down to the bottom, so keep that in mind if you're coming and bring plenty of water because you're going to want it.
This is the Thunder Ridge Overlook. Very short walk from the parking lot. Unfortunately, the visitor center is closed, as are many of them on the Blue Ridge Parkway. But there are some nice restrooms there, a good picnic area, and then there's a nice walk over the James River to the historic canal, and there's a trail of the trees trail. We're going to check some of that. This is a restored canal, and this is the lock for it, built in the early 1800s to provide for safer boat transportation along the James River. And this allowed the boats to pass from the river to the canal. pretty shallow right here. You can actually see a few fish down there. This is Otter Lake, just past the James River Visitor Center. And this is Otter Creek. There's a nice little spot here to get in the creek. And then right over here, there's actually a few picnic tables. This is at the Riffles Overlook. Looks like a, maybe a little slide. And then at the bottom, a couple of nice little swimming holes to get into. Well, that is it. We're here at the Buena Vista Overlook. We've finished the parkway. We're going to head down into town and get us a late lunch, but we're not done. We've still got a few more things planned out. We had lunch at Foothill Mama's Barbecue near Lexington, Virginia, and now we're here checking out Natural Bridge State Park.
it was nine dollars per adult to come in here a little pricey but i think definitely worth it just to see the natural bridge there's also a few trails you can hike on we're on one of them that goes to a cave and then there's a waterfall at the end although i think we're probably going to skip it because we've got one more place we want to go to back up on the parkway and we're fixed to go hike to this apple orchard falls 1.2 miles down 1.2 miles back let's see what it's about and here we cross the appalachian trail and continue on down to the falls a little smaller one pretty close to the falls but this isn't it just a little view for us we should be about there to the falls lots of stairs when you get close to the falls Although there's not a swimming hole here at Apple Orchard Falls, it's still very beautiful with good rain. I imagine it would be even more so and still worth the trip if you don't mind the climb back out. Time to head it back to the car and hopefully we can catch the sunset from the overlook before we head back to the campground. We are back at the campsite. Apple Orchard Falls was beautiful, definitely on the more strenuous side. So if you decide to do it, Bring plenty of water with you and be prepared for a strenuous hike. Now that we've done all of the Blue Ridge Parkway, just wanted to say a few comments that uh, as far as the entire parkway, our favorite section is kind of between like Devil's Courthouse and Grandfather Mountain. You can find the mile markers. We'll put them on the bottom of this video right here. Uh, just our favorite section, there's a lot of little small hikes. Uh, variations in elevation, different uh, different plant communities through there. You get a lot of the spruce fir forest you drive through, especially around Mount Mitchell, Craggy Gardens, and uh, Grandfather Mountain. A lot of this section that we drove this time was pretty flat and really not too much scenery. It was still beautiful in its own way, just a lot more farmland. A few cabins to stop and look at the Mabry Mill I will say that this section right here around Peaks of Otter about 20 miles in either direction uh, was very beautiful and we really enjoyed it as far as the Shenandoah National Park goes we really weren't impressed with it too much when we drove it we felt that the parkway offered more views and scenery than Shenandoah National Park did 
although it was pretty nasty the day we went so we may need to go back and revisit it at another time we hope you've enjoyed the video and we'll leave you with a few shots of us going home tomorrow on the way back we're going to take a few weeks off to celebrate our wedding anniversary and we'll see you down the road please follow us on facebook instagram and tiktok like the video and follow us on youtube we'll see you next time well, we had to pack up in a thunderstorm this morning, but we're all ready to go, fixing to hit the road.